Hello, John Talley here with Boats.net. Today we're going to be looking at the charging system on our Honda BF40D outboard motor. Now we know that this one is operating like it's supposed to, but I want to walk you through the process, actually two different processes, where we can specifically test the stator. So let me get the cover out of the way, go grab my multimeter, and then we'll dive into it. So we've got our cover out of the way, and I'm going to show you a couple of different techniques to do this. Now, the first one we're going to do is come straight out of the Honda manual, and it is a static or a resting test. In other words, the engine is not running. And what we're going to be doing is measuring across the three coils that are up under this cover, and they comprise the stator. And what we're going to be measuring is just resistance. So we want to set it to ohms, which is this symbol right here. Now, the wires we're after is in this connection right here. They actually come off of the regulator rectifier and then go up to those windings inside the stator. And what you have here are those three wires exposed. That's coil one, two, and three, or Y1, Y2, Y3. And what we're gonna do is take a resistance measurement from Y1 to 2, 2 to 3, and then 3 back to 1. Now the resistance we're going to be looking for is somewhere in between 0.25 and 0.37 ohms. But I can go ahead and tell you there's not many meters that are accurate enough to pull that off. So what you're going to have to do is see where your zero point is and then subtract that from whatever reading that you come up with. Because trying to measure something in that narrow of a window with a, an ohm meter is not very easy to do. So what we're gonna do is put our leads together and then see what its natural position is as far as what we're gonna need to subtract away from our final reading. So it looks like we've got, it's bouncing in between 0.1 and 0.2. So we know whatever we measure, we're gonna have to subtract that 0.1 from it. So you see, this is not actually the best test, but it will at least get us in the ballpark. Now what you're going to see here for a coil that's typically damaged is either an open or a completely closed circuit. So if it was completely burned out, uh, you're going to read the same as touching the leads directly together. Conversely, if it actually is blown apart part of the winding, well, you're going to see an open circuit, or with this meter it's going to be an OL like you're seeing right now, or open line. So let's go in and go from one to two. Let's see if she stabilizes. So 0.5, so that would tell me to subtract a 0.1 from that, so it's around the 0.4. A little on the high side, but once again, this is not the most accurate way to measure it. Let's go two to three. 0.5, and then we'll go 1 to 3. Point 0.5 again. Now this gives a very general idea, a way of measuring to see if your stator is functioning or not. The test that I like to do is a live test where we're actually going to start the motor and then read the AC voltage going from phase to phase. So to do that, we're going to roll the motor over to our test tank crank it up, and then take some measurements on the AC setting on the multimeter. So let me get it moved around there, dropped into the water, and then we'll make those measurements. Let's go. Okay guys, so I've got her positioned in the test tank where we can do a live test. And what we're gonna do is set our multimeter to volts AC, which is that location right there. So we've got our voltmeter set up and ready to measure, and what we're looking for is an AC voltage somewhere in between, I'd say, 18 to 20, maybe even up to 25 at an idle. So let's see what she can do. Two to three. Now one to three. Well, 
Well, there you go. Well, it's telling us something that we already knew is that the stator is operating like it's supposed to. Well, if you need these parts or any other for your boat, why don't you come see us at boats.net and we can get you taken care of. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. And hey, if you like what you see, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you can keep up with whatever I'm working on next. Well, everybody have a great day and we will see you in the next video.